physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. And I am Brad Heineck, physical yeah, therapist. Together, we're the most famous physical therapists on the internet. We are? Oh, I mean, yeah, in yeah. our opinion, of course, yeah, Bob. It's our opinion. <laughs> Believe me. So we're talking about advanced knee stretches and mobs, mobilizations. Why don't you start, Brad? Let's start with Brian Mulligan. Yeah, well, we should say some mobilizations. That just means we're going to get in there a little really more deep aggressively into the tissues, right. to free that joint up. And you'll see yep. what we're talking about. Uh, first, we're going to start with well, Mulligan is a famous Brian. PT. Yeah, we think he's still alive. Yeah, he's uh, up there though. Out of New Zealand, yeah, he's really done a lot with PT over his lifetime. Yeah. So, on a chair like this, we want to get that knee to flex all the way, and what uh, the knee actually internally rotates. Yeah. the lower bone does the when tibia. you bend the knee. Yeah, so, so we're gonna. You're oh, gonna go ahead. help it. You're gonna help it, Brian. I'm gonna grab it. Now you're gonna you know, your skin. You gotta kind of grab through your skin. Grab deep, and put a little rotation on that tibia or that calf, and then bend forward. And if you find that oh, it bends farther with less pain when I do this, then you're gonna continue this. Right. If it doesn't, don't. Right. And you're always turning towards the opposite knee. Right. So if this you way. have the other knee up there. You're going to turn toward the right knee. Yep, this way. Yep. That's the screw home mechanism. Yep. No, that's an extension, the screw home. That's just a, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> that's a bad one. All right, next one. You actually just take a towel and you put it underneath your knee like this, and then you work on trying to get more flexion. And it kind of gaps the knee, yep. and you'll see it works. Uh, if it's not a big enough towel, Double it, up, double it up and then try it. Sure. So you get a little more of a gap. Yeah. So these are the mobilization aspects of the stretching we're talking about. Now you can do it a little more aggressively. You can do it Just, like Brad. Yep. So I'm going to get that up right in the crux of the knee. And go. if your towel is too thick, it might create some pain. And if it's got sharp pain, it's not desirable. It's, it's too aggressive. Don't do it. There we go. Oh, now, I just got my Yeah, you got crack. a crack. Whoa. All right, so this is one I do every morning, believe it or not, the, the 60 year old guy, 61 year old guy. I flatten my heels. I mean, I flatten my feet yeah. like this, and I sit back on my heels, and it really puts a big stretch on the knee. Yeah. Plus, you get Both a nice stretch on the, on the ankle. On the ankle, yes. Yep, so it's a double. Uh, it's a double header. You can put a pillow underneath your knees if you like. Oh yeah. But there's a great aggressive stretch. Again, this is uh, not for sissies. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, all yes. right, Brad, how about we just start showing you, you could take uh, balls, massage guns, booyah sticks, mm -hmm. um, foam rollers. Sure. And you can do different things to try to work the muscles above and below the knee. All right, because if the muscles, the quads, the hamstrings, or the calves are tight, that's going to limit your knee range of motion. I'll start with this one, Brad. So you can, uh, on a surface, like a seated surface, you can actually take a ball under the hamstring. You find the tender spot. You might even go back and forth, work on that tender spot over, and then you're going to work on straightening and bending the knee while that's in place. Yeah, we call that flossing. Yes. Yep, and that's a real. We just, I just learned that from Bob, who learned it from Kelly Start. Right. Uh, he's very noted in this yep. whole field. Again, you want to find tender spots. Mm -hmm. If it's not tender, it probably doesn't need it. You know, if it feels good, I'll still do it though. Yeah. Just because it feels good. for you, good. Brad. <laughs> I'm one of those kind right. of guys. He's gonna show the foam roller. It's nice about the foam roller. You can do it fast. You yeah. get both legs at once if you want, or you can do one leg at once. So if you're just doing, if I'm just doing my right hamstring, I'll usually cross over to emphasize, and you'll feel it much more aggressively there. If you do both at the same time, that works as well. Rolling and rolling and rolling, rolling, pulley. You mind flipping around and do the quadricep too bad? Oh, sure. So I'm going to go like this. I do this on my forearms and roll and again, I'll kind sure. of go and look for that tender that spot, spot yep. that tight spot. Doing the inside of the quadricep is a little more difficult. You now, if you, have a, yeah, if you have a foam roller that's knobby, yep. it's going to be a little more aggressive. Yep. 
Now you can go, these massage guns work really well for this. I'll give you yours, Brad. Oh, goody. And I'll take one. And yeah. the thing is, you can really find the tender spots and you really can focus in on them. Yeah. So, again, if your ha uh, quad or hamstring is tight, it is going to affect your knee. If your calf is tight, it's going to affect your knee. Mm. So you want to work on those areas, find the tennis spots, and work them out. And you will find, over time, your knee feels better. Yep. And play with which head you want to use with your massage gun. Right. Uh, sometimes the round one or the air, head, air one is one I'll use on the quads. Um, and a really nice little trick that uh, we found out is... Uh, especially with a round head, right. instead of going directly in, because if that's too aggressive and it feels like it's hitting your femur, turn the gun sideways, and you can vary the intensity of the massage just by the angle of the gun, especially if you have the round head on. Now, this one, the flat head, works nice because you can go directly into the, the quadricep, yep. and you, you can Ooh. don't worry about it bouncing off. So I know. I right onto it. If you go and on the side along. and you work that IT band where my white stripe is, that one probably is not going to work very well. It's pretty aggressive because there's not a lot of muscle there. I'll go sideways on the IT band. You'll learn very quickly what to do and what not yep. to do. And again, if you don't have a gun, just use a ball. Mm. Use the lacrosse ball, mm. your tennis ball, uh, softball. Right. I mean, anything can roll on it. Hit the calf, hit the quad, mm -hmm. hit the hamstring. Um, you you may can even use the booyah stick, right, Sure. Brad? You know, you may spend when you're massaging these muscles with whatever alternative. You may be doing it for a few minutes. It's not just a 20 right. or 30 second uh, And again, y you find the tender spots. That's what you work on. Yeah. And if you got a smooth stick that slides on your... Clothing, that works quite well, as opposed to trying to roll it. And they have those uh, mas massage sticks, yep, too. Yep, they got balls on them, and they yep. roll, and uh, you can see them. We, no, you know, we don't use those very often. No, they're, they're yeah. nice. Yep, they work. There's no magic here, folks. And, you know, just work on the area, get it loose, and it's going to generally help your knee pain. Yes, if it doesn't help your knee pain, it'll help your leg. What does that mean? I don't know. I didn't know what else to say. Thanks Bob. for watching. <laughs>